Hey, this is Matthew Jeske. I'm going to explain really quick how to change the oil in your C5 Corvette. So, I want you to come over here and uh, check out some of the tools I have. First, it takes seven quarts of oil. It's a big oil pan. It's fanned out on the bottom. If you take a look at it, I'll show you later. Um, it takes seven quarts. You also need an oil filter. I change my oil filter every time I change my oil. Some people go every other time, but I do it every time. And um, I like to replace the gasket on the oil pan drain plug. So I got a bunch of those. I always hold on to them. You'll, you'll need a 15 millimeter uh, box end wrench like I have here. Uh, this is my oil pan. This is only seven quarts. So I actually have two of them. I'm going to be recycling the oil today. So I got that one to pour most of it into. Uh, the, Another thing you see I have here is really nice uh, is oil orb. If you can get your hands on some oil orb, go ahead and uh, pick that up. You'll really save yourself a lot. I put a fender cover on here on the side of the car uh, to make sure I don't scratch it up while I'm leaning in to change the oil. Uh, I think the biggest challenge to changing the oil on your Corvette though is getting it off the ground. These are my ramps I use on my other cars. Unfortunately, the Corvette is too low a profile to get on them, so I had to jack the car up and set it on the ramps. And when I did that, if you get down here, you can see I made this special rubber uh, gasket. You gotta get down lower. This is a, a jack puck. No, no up. This is a jack puck. I made from a hockey puck and it, it keeps from scratching the body panels and these cars are actually designed there's a notch to fit those into so I have four of those um, I use to get the car off the ground when I'm changing the oil like this too you always want to make sure your rear wheels are chucked I chuck both sides front and back I don't I don't kid around because you don't want this car falling on you. It will crush you to death. This car is very low profile. Nick, hang on. Um, there's the jack pucks. Next, I leave it in gear. If you have, have a manual, you want to leave it in gear. And I put the parking brake on. I don't, I don't kid around. I do every little thing I can to make sure that it's going to be okay. So typically I use this big guy to catch my oil. It works really well. Um, today, like I said, I'm recycling the oil. It's not used up in my Corvette. I'm gonna put it in my daily driver. Um, if we get underneath here, I'll show you the oil pan. The first thing I'll do is I'll take off the drain plug here. It takes a 15 millimeter socket again. And then uh, we have the oil filter back here which I'll take off. Uh, you, sim you can simply undo those by hand many times or you should be able to. If not, <laughs> you might need to pick up a special wrench, but typically I just grunt and groan until I get it off by hand. If you know you have a shop put these on, they always over tighten them and mess stuff up. So um, I'm, that's, that's pretty boring watching it drain. I'll get to that and then we'll show you what to do next. Okay, so this is where the excitement really begins. Um, there's a problem with the Corvette and changing oil, and that is it's so low to the ground that you can't drain the oil pan. And the drain plug is at the front of the pan. So in order to drain all the oil, you have to level the car or um, slope it towards the front so it'll come out of the pan. So I actually have it on a jack in the back here and I'm tilting the car up to uh, drain the oil, which is not a very comfortable thing to do, but I am very particular about who works on my cars. So it works and you just gotta be patient and really, really careful when you do this. Now let's pull that back out, see where the oil is, and it's pretty well, pretty well changed, I think, we're pretty empty. Okay, 
So I've got everything drained out of the car. It takes quite a while. Now I, I've hand tightened the oil filter. You want to tighten it nice and snug by hand. You don't after you wet the gasket. I just dip it in the old oil, stick it up there and hand tighten it real good. And then I'm gonna hand tighten with a wrench, not too tight. I'm sure there's a torque spec, but I just make it snug with a 15 millimeter wrench. And you can see me do that right now. I don't grunt or groan or anything like that. Make sure I go the right way. Here we go. Tighten it up by hand. Take a little while. There we go. So now we've hit where it's tightening up. I just kind of like that. That's about all you do here. You don't want to. There we go. Okay, I think that's pretty good. There. All right. Now I'm going to get out. I'm going to start filling the car with oil. So I've got 5W30 um, oil here. I use full synthetic Mobile One. I suppose you could use Castrol Syntac or another brand of synthetic oil. Um, but the cap here says to use Mobile One. I think they just, they just uh, you know, they got a kickback or something to put that on there. But uh, I just stick with Mobile One. They're all about the same price. so. Synthetic oil isn't terribly cheap any way you look at it. This is about five dollars a gallon, or I'm sorry, uh, five dollars a quart. And uh, you can leave the dipstick out so it'll fill a little bit faster, but I don't think it'll make too big a difference. Some people do that. You notice I'm holding the can sideways. <laughs> I learned the hard way if you tip it up like that or on the other end, um, you'll get an air bubble and it'll plop oil all over the place. But if you do it sideways and slowly, it just goes right in real nice. So real quick, I'm going to check under the car. If you come take a look, I'm just going to do a visual inspection and make, make sure that it's not leaking oil or uh, there's no oil droplets forming around the um, oil filter or the oil plug and they look pretty good so and one thing to note when I finish changing oil I take a rag and I wipe stuff up real good so I can do this check and what I do is I want to get it to a point where I know I have enough oil in there I can start the car without a problem because I want to start the car in a few minutes and I'm gonna Make sure that the oil pump, when we get under oil pressure, get start building oil pressure, doesn't push oil out because we didn't tighten things right. And uh, if you forgot to grease your oil filter gasket, or you the old one stuck to the um, bottom of the motor, or you didn't get the gasket on altogether, you'll find out pretty quickly. Um, when we do this test here, because when you build oil pressure, it just blows all the oil right out. And one thing I do, I always watch for sales, and then I go buy my my oil. You can go uh, go to your checker or your AutoZone or your O'Reilly, and then ask them to mail you their flyer, because that'll save you. You know, I'll save you a little bit of money if you got a year's worth of oil. You can save. 10 15 bucks and I think it makes it easier because you don't have to drive back and forth to the store all the time. I keep a little supply in my garage. Let's go back in here. Pull it back out. Okay, now we're we're up. Uh, if you can see where my thumb's at, the add mark start the, the full is right there. And the ad is down here. We're right in the middle of it, just about middle towards the top. So we're good enough to start the car. And um, you're going to probably have to add a hair more oil once we get the car leveled out um, because the oil pump will pump the oil into the oil filter and fill it up. 
So I'm going to fire up the car and then um, we're going to look for a leak with the motor running in those same spots. The oil, uh, oil plug and the oil filter. So just one second here. First things first, when you fire the engine up, it's going to start pretty quick and you're going to look at the uh, oil filter or the oil pressure gauge here and you can see my uh, oil pressure sending unit isn't exactly accurate but we are building pressure and things are good there. So I'm going to look underneath the car really quick and make sure that I'm not leaking just do a visual inspection. And uh, we look good on the drain pan there on the plug and then we look good on the, the filter. Uh, if you don't have that right, it'll be gushing out oil everywhere right now because the filter's under pressure. Uh, the drain plug will just drip slowly. Now I just have to get the car off the jack, off the the um, the ramps, and then level it out and check everything once more again and top the oil off. And that's about all there is to changing the oil in your Corvette.